Hi guys, it's Warwick here, and I am here to give you a tutorial on how to make a hidden frame lift. Now, I always, I've always liked these for the fact that, as you can really see here, well, except for that command block over there, uh, there is nothing. You can see nothing here. But with the press of a button, you've got yourself an elevator or a lift. So I'm just going to show you how how I build these. It's probably not necessarily the best way to build them, but um, anyway, if you're interested, stick around, and hopefully you learn something new. Okay, first things first is we're going to make what I like to call the movement circuit. Now, the uses, the applications for this circuit is pretty much whatever you can think of. Uh, I originally found it on a YouTube channel called Pyro of Zen. Now, at the time of recording, I haven't checked if the channel still exists, but if it does, I'll post a link in the description to the actual video where um, he builds this. Uh, this version is going to be a little bit different for the fact I'm going to be using wireless redstone, and I'm rotating a bit of the footprint around to make it more even, so to speak. So anyway, let's get started. First we get our input, anything redstone capable, so alloy wire, insulator wire, redstone dust, it's all good. Then you get a toggle latch, put it in this way. I turn it on this side so that our circuit doesn't run while we're actually making, while we're still making it. Then you need a repeater. Vanilla repeaters are fine for this fact, it's just, it's on one tick. Now, you got to make sure it's actually pointing into the other side of the toggle latch from the input. So, or towards back of the circuit, depending on which way you make it. Once you do that, off to the side of this repeater, you put your timer. Now, we, I like to set it to about 850, so it's usually a pretty good amount of time for your uh, blue electric motors. Then you get a, well, we get our white insulated wire. This can be any colour that you want, um, just as long as, say, if I use white throughout the whole circuit, you make sure you use the same colour, or otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, and then off the timer, we use a counter. Now I've got to make sure our maximum count and decrement are the same, but what you're going to be setting here is amount of blocks, how many blocks it has to move till it gets to the top and to the bottom of where it needs to go. So in my case it's going to be four, but as I said it can be anything that you want the frame lift to move. And then when you finish that, you put any kind of, well, any kind of wire here, you can just use red alloy wire, it's usually a bit cheaper if you're doing this in survival. Okay, and then we get our bundle cable. We'll come off the side here, and as Pyro Zen put it so neatly, it makes it easy, for, say, for me to remember, is a bundle cable around here like this. A bit of orange, I'm going to use orange here, you can, as I said earlier, any colour you want. When you put it here, it turns the bundle cable into like an E when you look at it. Okay, at the top right of the E, one more piece of bundle cable bit of orange cable here and white cable here. Okay? So then off our orange one here, you're going to need two of these, then two more repeaters. Make sure they're pointing towards the front of the circuit. Now leave a space, put two more, and then these are going to be your outputs to each of your motors. So we'll say 10 and 11. Okay, now these, you can put these as insulated wires and then run bundle cable up to your motors, that's fine. I'm just using uh, wireless redstone just to make it look a bit tidier. Now you need a sticky piston there, any kind of block there. So what will happen is that and then we need a toggle latch 
which will go in there. So the lever on the button, as I've heard people call it. And then you can use any other colour of inch loader cable. I'm just gonna pick one at random. That goes into there. And that's pretty much your movement circuit set up. So hang on, we'll set up 20 as an input. Okay, that should be it. That's your movement circuit set up. So what happens is that when we get 20 on our wireless transmitter, it'll pulse four times out there, and then it'll do it this way so that it's ready to go, but in the opposite direction. So this is our direction changer. So 10 is up, 11 is down. We'll run this again. So it's going to pulse four times up, it's going to change to the down position, ready to go down. And that's the movement circuit done. Of course fill this in, or if it's in a cave or whatever, you can make it hidden if you want. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me do fill this in, so I'll do that off camera. Um, I'll also dig out the hole ready for the actual lift, and I'll be back. And I'm back. Now this is our hole, or the hole, I'm going to be using to build the actual lift in. Okay, now first things first, this is going to be a 3x3, three three. I like to give myself two blocks either side just to make it a bit easier to uh, get around while I'm building it. So... This is going to be the bottom of our lift, so just okay. That's the basics of the lift. Then on one corner, uh, in this case, it's going to be six uh, frames down. Now there is a reason for that number, and you'll see why in a moment. So let's do three, four, five, six, and then one off the side. Actually, bring it inside like that way. Okay, once that's done, and make sure that you place covers on all of the outside surfaces. You can put whatever you want on the inside here, but all of the outside surfaces here, make sure you put covers on it. I'll put them on and I'll be back. Okay, now that we've got all, well, got that covered, ah, pun. Um, then on top, you see how these uh, don't have covers on them. Just place whatever the ground is adjacent to it, and because what'll happen is that that will sit flush with this, so it'll be completely hidden. Okay, and then down here. What we're going to do is the reason for this lip. If we put blocks here like this, that's going to act as a stopper. So that once it's there, like it is now, we don't want it to go any higher than that. That's exactly it. It's not going to go any higher. Now this platform is also going to serve another purpose. That's where our motors are going to go. So if we place our two motors down, like so, grab a screwdriver. Now, I see a lot of people have problems with wondering, okay, well, the, this is the actual drive face of it, and it's the only side that actually has an arrow on it, which direction it's facing. So like that's saying it's up at the moment, and that's saying it's down. It's going to pull down that way. Uh, I've also noticed that this little black part of the, the wheel, so to speak, the bigger side, or the way that it's facing, is the way that it will spin. So that if we turn that around, you'll see this one, it's facing down, this one it's facing up. So if we turn those ar around, so that that one's our up, that one's our down. Next we place our two inputs from our circuit. In this case, 
we said that up was going to be 10, alone is going to be down. So up is 10, and down is 11. Okay. Then make sure you got power to the whole shebang. So I'm just going to grab a few batteries here. Now I think it's these ones here. Just to give it a little bit of power, just to show you guys. So blue lights are on, it's happy. Now what did we say our input was? 20. So, it's already in up position. We make sure that this is going to be set down. So wherever this block is, is going to be which way it's going to go. And then cross your fingers. Yeah, cross your fingers that this actually works. Now, this didn't work for the fact that um, this could only go down so far. So you've got to make sure that this can actually go down enough, or otherwise it'll just stop. So, okay, round two. Let's see how it goes. Uh, still can't do go down far enough. It's either that or I've missed a face here somewhere. This is why I said make sure all faces are covered. Now, this is another reason why, or the primary reason that I always put this on, is so that because it's one block too high from the down position, and this is going to be set to go at four, but there's only three it can move. Or it's supposed to move. So if we tell it to do that, it'll go as far as that and stop. Okay, now that we've get covered that face up, let's have another go. Round three. Third time lucky. There we go. And, believe it or not, that is it. So, just cover this in. Someday I'll learn how to place blocks properly. Okay. Nice and covered. I suppose we can cover that up as well. And then... Hidden left. Well, ain't that neat. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, please go easy on me, it's the first tutorial that I've done. Uh, believe it or not, it's taken a lot of takes to do this as well. Um, so, if there's any other kind of uh, stuff that you've seen in any of my videos that you think I should make a tutorial on, please let me know. Uh, this was the most requested tutorial that I do. So, here it is. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.